Right, it's been asked quite a few times, so I'm just going to go through how you find your hidden XBMC special folder, or Kodi special folder, uh, where all the user data and add-ons are hidden. So let's go into our system. First thing you need to do is in the appearance section, go down to file lists, and where it says show hidden files and directories, that needs to be enabled, because it is hidden by default. Um, so we can now find that in file manager. So if we go down there, you'll see that we've got an option for profile directory in OpenELEC, and that takes us to our actual user data folder. So that's everything, all our um, add-on data is in there, so anything relating to the actual add-on, any bespoke settings you'll find in there. But what we don't have is our add-ons. So um, to get our add-ons directory, we find that in the storage. So click on your storage uh, partition, or we can add a source, but we're coming into that in a minute, so let's just make sure it is there. And you can see Cody there, and there you go, we've got our add-ons. So if you ever do need to access your physical add-ons, you can find them in here. Um, and on that previous page, you'll notice some of them um, started with a dot. Uh, there you go, that just means that they're hidden. Okay, so if we didn't have that option enabled, it would be hidden. Um, so let's try adding a source now just to make it easier to find in future. So if we go down to our root file system, we can then go to, um, oops, sorry, not that one. Uh, we want storage, there we go. And we can click on Kodi. Or if you're running an older build, you can go to XPMC and click OK. And that will now add our whole Kodi directory. So we can now access anything in the hidden folder so that is the root of the hidden folder. So you've got your add-ons in there, you've got your add-on data, you've got your thumbnail, you've got absolutely everything in there, all your bespoke settings. Um, so it's that simple. Now let's have a look, and if you want to access it via your PC, what we need to do is head on over to um, the system information, and in here, you'll be able to see what your IP address is. So make a note of that. So you can see there on the right, second line down, IP address. So that's your local IP address. Now as I'm on Windows, I'm just gonna load up Windows and show you um, how we access it via Windows. So I'm gonna load up WinSCP, as you can see here. That's a free download you can get. Um, just do a little Google search, that'll soon come up. And in here, we put the IP address of the um, in my case, it's the Raspberry Pi, but it's, it's OpenELEC. Um, any OpenELEC system this will work on. And the username is root, password is OpenELEC, all lowercase. You'll be asked to accept this agreement thing, this um, security certificate, click OK. And now we've got it loaded up. So um, on the left, you've got your PC, and on the right, that's all the stuff on OpenELEC. So I'm just gonna make that bigger so you can see it better. So um, on the right, as you can see, that is everything in our OpenELEC folder, uh, in our Kodi folder on OpenELEC. So you can see there we've got our um, user data, so we can edit anything in there, we can copy anything out that we want. There you go, we can click on edit. Let's uh, just try an example file. So this is my RSS feed, so I'm just gonna, uh, let's copy that line again, and we'll paste it in there and um, just edit it to something like test. And when we're done, we can click save. We can close that box. And if we try opening it up again, we should find that that's actually already been saved. There you go, there it is. So I can now um, delete that. And tidy that line up there, click save. And it's back to how it was. So very simple to um, access your files and edit them. If we wanted to copy something over, it is just drag and drop. So hold down the left uh, mouse, button, pull it across, and there it goes. It's copied over. So really, really uh, useful. And similarly, you can obviously copy it to your PC as well. So you can see there you can rename folders and do what you like. So um, hope that helps. Thanks for watching.